Good morning folks, uh, I thought I'd do a quick mailbag type video for you today um, I know Dave Jones does his mailbag Monday and Julian Eilert's got his postbag videos and I thought I'd do something similar um, basically take you through what I've been buying online from China you know AliExpress, eBay, those sorts of places you know take you through the products tell you how much I paid for them and what I intend to do with those products um, now the way that my videos will, will differ slightly from Dave and Julian's is the fact that I generally open my mail as soon as it comes through the door. Uh, I uh, buy stuff because I need it or I anticipate needing it in the near future. Um, you know, I can't stockpile lots and lots of mail basically because I don't get lots and lots of mail. You know, I don't have a huge subscriber base that are paying into Patreon, you know, and I don't have uh, huge AdSense revenue and I don't have companies sending me stuff for free. Not that I expect it as a, as a relatively new YouTuber. Of course I don't. Um, but, you know, I am totally self-funded. You know, it's my hobby. It's what I do. Uh, but I thought it'd be worthwhile sharing the things that I've been buying uh, to see if it, you know, or, you know, let you see items that, that may be of interest to you for your hobby. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. If you enjoy this video, then please give it the thumbs up. Um, uh, if you don't, or you, you don't think it's a, a very good type of video for me to do, then of course, please say in the comments below. But let's crack on. Um, I think I'll probably call this segment, um, what have you been buying now? Because that's what my wife tends to to say um, when I get little Jiffy bags through the door from China. But the uh, the first uh, items, uh, I've already taken them out of the Jiffy bag, are these uh, little 18650 battery charging modules. Really, really good little modules and super cheap. These are 24 pence each, including delivery. Uh, and what they basically allow you to do is uh, implement this board into one of your, your projects uh, with a, an 18650 lithium battery and allow you to, to charge it safely and effectively. Um, as you can see on here, it's got a micro USB socket on one end and on the other end we've got uh, B plus and minus obviously for the battery and then we've got the load on the two out uh, pads there. Um, we do have the facility as well uh, to put 5 volts directly onto the board here uh, rather than using the micro USB socket and I would suggest that that's probably the best option because there's no uh, mounting holes uh, on the board that you could you know you can mount it onto a PCB I suppose you could cut a small hole and epoxy it on uh, once it's all in place but to be honest what I would be inclined to do is once my project's in the enclosure is fit the battery, mount the PCB, everything like that, mount this in here, and then just put a couple of uh, uh, fly leads onto a standard DC uh, socket and put a little bit of double-sided sticky foam on there. Um, yeah, pretty pretty good. Um, if I just plug it in, uh, it does have two LEDs on there as well. Um, you can see the blue there quite visibly. Um, and if I just cover it up, you probably just make out that the red LED is flashing there. And of course, uh, when charging, that will illuminate red. And when it's finished charging, it will extinguish or vice versa. You know, it might uh, be off when charging red when it's fully charged. But really cheap and really easy to implement into a project. Uh, as I say, 24p. Can't complain. Uh, the next uh, item I got is uh, this. It's a little Neo 6M GPS receiver module. Um, and a good thing about this, it works between uh, 3.3 and 5 volts. There's no separate... Um, uh, three. Some of these modules do have a separate 3.3 and 5 volt input, but this just has your, your VCC and, and it will work uh, on either voltage. Um, these are repurposed, so... When you've sent your, or a company sent a job lot of electronics equipment over to China to be uh, salvaged or, you know, repurposed or recycled, um, basically what they're doing nowadays is pulling component, you know, at component level, uh, taking components off uh, and uh, basically reusing them. You probably saw in the, the little GSM module I built, even uh, down to capacitors surface mount capacitors that actually reusing um, and that's certainly the case with this this uh, U, uh, U blocks uh, neo 6m module has been taken off an old piece of equipment and put onto this brand new uh, custom made pcb and it's aimed obviously at the hobbyist market um it does come with this small patch antenna as you can see here a lot smaller than you're used to seeing uh, generally these are about um an inch square but this is a really small 
patch type antenna. Um, but those together uh, are going to give you a little GPS module that you can use on Raspberry Pi or Arduino for a project. And uh, that's certainly what I intend to do uh, shortly. Um, you may recall, uh, if I can find them, uh, you may recall my video the other day where I showed you how to drive um, an HD44780 uh, LCD display off Arduino using the uh, I2C uh, backpack. Uh, and what I intend to do uh, is basically make a, a GPS receiver with a display that's going to display uh, position, uh, you know, speed, time, that kind of thing. Um, and that's basically what I got that little GPS module for. Um, now, I've been thinking about um, how to do that. Now, I could use Arduino, um, but I thought maybe Raspberry Pi might be the way to go. Uh, certainly with the the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero being out now as well, it's a, you know, a really budget Raspberry Pi. It's still not as cheap as uh, you can get a, an Arduino Nano or Arduino Mini, um, but they're, they're, they are still cheap enough. Um and, and yeah, so I'm not quite sure what way to go. So yeah, the, I've got options for displays. Um, I've just got the, the, the two line 16 digit, the four line 20 digit. Um, I even found this one the other day, which I pulled out an old um, an old piece of equipment. Uh, it's got the, the connect on the end and I just uh, bodged, bodged one of these on just to see if it would drive it. And it, you know, it works fine as well with that. Um, but let's like see, I think I'm probably more likely to go with uh, Raspberry Pi now because a couple of items that came in through the door uh, yesterday uh, I had a play about last night. I've not done a video on it, I just had a play about because I am totally new to Raspberry Pi and I am very much relying on other people's work, uh, you know, Python scripts and stuff that people have already made. But I got these two little um, modules through the, the door as well yesterday like I say a little um, 128 by 64 um, pixel uh, OLED display quite nice um, but quite small um, it's around uh, just over an inch across and maybe three quarters of an inch high so there's not much really stay on there uh, to do much with um, and another option was to use one of these I don't know how well that's going to come out on if I Probably not very well at all. I'll see if I can get a piece of paper and put that across. Just to sort of diffuse it slightly. But yeah, this is a little, uh, uses the Max 7219. Yeah, you can probably see it a bit better now there. Uh, yeah, Max 7219 uh, driver. Uh, and it's just driving eight seven segment, uh, seven segment uh, displays. Uh, using just five uh, five lines on the, the Raspberry Pi. And, and as you can see there, um, I'm using nine wires and I've got two displays running simultaneously. This one using I2C uh, and this one using uh, the SPI lines. Um, yeah, really, really quite good. This module was uh, just over £2 from AliExpress and this again was about £2.20 from AliExpress and including delivery. So you've got a couple of options. Well, I've got a couple of options uh, for, um, you know, for, for making this a GPS type uh, receiver with, you know, one of three types of display. Um, you know, of course, there's other things we could use, the little LED matrix ones. But, of co course, on something like this, we're going to get a limited amount of data. I suppose you could get it to cycle through speed, course, that kind of thing. But we'll, we'll have a look and, and see what it is. I've just realised I used a Windows 95 <laughs> book to diffuse that there. There you go. There's the uh, product key if you want to... If you want to steal my product key for Windows 95, God, I don't know why that's lined just there. Um, but yeah, so that's basically this a first kind of mailbag video I've got for you. Not a lot to it. I know it's a bit uh, all over the place, but I thought it'd be worth just taking you through some of the products you can get. There's quite a lot of niche products on AliExpress, and that's the kind of things I like to go for. Um, you know, just because they're a bit more fun. Uh, so hopefully some of the items you'll see me uh, doing in these videos will give you a bit of inspiration uh, to do maybe a, a project that's not so much run of the mill, you know, not something you could necessarily walk into Maplins and buy, you know, a bit more uh, thinking and, you know, a bit more um, 
I suppose it's a bit more of an interesting project rather than something boring like some of the other kits I do. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that will maybe inspire you slightly to, to do something like that. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments, like I say, please leave them below. I would be uh, glad to hear what, what you think and whether you should think I should do stuff like this. Um, I am, uh, as I've already just mentioned, I am a complete novice when it comes to Raspberry Pi. Um I would like to to get more into it, and hopefully, um, hopefully, as I learn, I can then pass that on to you yourselves. Um, it is quite difficult for me without any sort of programming background to to get into this. Let's say I'm relying on other people's work just now, and having to mess about with what they've already done to try and suit my needs but um yeah it, it's a learning curve for me and hopefully when i get on top of it then i can then start to you know provide that information back into youtube uh to help other people out anyway i know i'm rambling on i do apologize uh hopefully you found that interesting as always if you did please like and subscribe please leave any comments you might have uh, down below and until next time take care of yourselves and all the best